Okay, this might be one of the more polarizing episodes yet, because uh, love it or hate it, you're gonna have an opinion about it. This is the Fairlife episode. Horrifying as that might sound, I gotta wait for the beat to drop. Okay. So Fairlife, everybody in the United States and probably, I don't know, Canada, Mexico is familiar with Fairlife. It's actually a younger brand than I thought. I looked it up. It first came out in 2014, which seems super late. It seems like it's been around a long time. It was test marketed in Minnesota. And I was living in Minnesota up till 2012. So when it came out, I was actually living in the UK. Uh, when I came back, saw Fairlife all over the place. And uh, well, here it is. And it's funny, when you look at, at some of the original marketing for Fairlife, uh, it's distributed by Coca-Cola via its Minute Maid division. The ads were kind of racy, I guess. Anyway, it got some criticism for that. It's changed its image, I guess, over the years. And uh, certainly the packaging, the packaging always looks good. Obviously they have a big budget to do so. It's ultra filtered, it's higher protein, it's higher calcium, it's generally lactose free. Um, so from a health standpoint, a lot of people prefer that. It's readily available. A lot of people claim to like it. So from a, from a taste standpoint, it has been described to me as melted pudding. And I think that can be a little charitable. I've subjected lots of family and friends to blind taste tests of chocolate milk all the time. Over the last five years, done this a lot. In every single case, when Fairlife is part of a blind taste test, it ranks dead last. When you don't see the, the snazzy packaging and this and that, uh, and you have it in comparison to some great chocolate milks or some other chocolate milks, even normal chocolate milks, people don't prefer it. They're like, well, this one tastes funky. It's Fairlife. Only got one of those on film. And I'll just cut to the footage of that. Do you have an overall least favorite or not, overall or not necessarily? Probably V38, whatever that is. V38. V38. Uh, it's, it tasted like melted pudding. It, it didn't, wasn't anything that I would seek out. This one would be the, it's yeah, this one, yeah. yeah, that one was just, it was just bad. Too much of everything and really thick. It had the best color though, that's the thing. I don't know, it had the best, oh, look that's at that. this. Oh, I think we, okay. Fairlife did dabble in a whole chocolate milk for a period of a few years, and I did have this in Pennsylvania. It's got a whole Fairlife. It's a new product. It's about time they come out with the whole chocolate milk. Well, it's got that same Fairlife taste. It's the monk juice extract. It's that kind of art. I'll say it's artificial, but it's that non-sugary sweetness that just doesn't age well in the mouth. And this on the cap it says best by March 28th. Uh, and I bought this on January 28th, so. I don't know, fresh milk that's good for two months. In the bin it goes. You can't find it now in stores. Uh, and they've had, also had some other products that have gone by the wayside. There was like a honey and oats thing. There was uh, a yup double, double chocolate. There was a yup 1%, which you could find at some point. Um, a few other products out there with the Fairlife name, but this is what's available right now as far as I can tell. And I've looked quite a few, you know, in quite a few places. I've got to be sat down for this. All right, so we're just gonna start with the regular run-of-the-mill Fairlife. It's a 2% ultra-filtered. Had this a lot of times. Uh, I assume most everybody out there has tried this if you're watching this video. It's okay. I mean, it's the, su the sweetness level is fine. It's not overly sweet, but the sweeteners in it age poorly. I don't know if it's the, it's the Ace K or the Sucralose, but the longer you sit uh, on the aftertaste, the worse it gets. It just kind of deteriorates further in the, in the cocoa flavor. Again, it's okay. It smells more chocolatey than it tastes. The texture for me is, is more egregious. It doesn't really feel milky at all. It feels kind of gummy and uh, unnatural. And that's been the same feedback I've had from people that I've forced this upon too, is that the texture is just like, overly thick it seems a lot thicker than it should be especially for a two percent and while some people do enjoy thickness more than i do it still it just feels it doesn't feel authentic this version of fairlife is the 
DHA, omega-3, it's got like al algal oil added to it. It's still 2% and ultra filtered. You'd expect this to be, you know, taste very similar except for the addition of the, uh, of the DHA, um, but it's actually sweetened with monk juice extract and sugar rather than the, the sucralose and ACE-K. So, <laughs> texture, uh, monk juice extract is really hard to do well. It's a little bit restrained here. It's not super heavy handed, but it's still there and it ages poorly again in the aftertaste. There's a twang to it in the back of your throat. It's not satisfying. From a texture standpoint, this is a little bit milkier than the normal Fairlife for sure. It's a little bit more, I don't know, lithe. Uh, has a, a slightly lower viscosity and it feels a little bit more true on the palate. So this says new formula, same great taste. Uh, I'd say new formula, same shitty taste. It's got a twang to it. I initially wanted to like it more because it feels a little bit better, uh, but the taste I think is even a little bit more distracting. Okay. Okay, what's nope. this stuff called? Yup. Yep. Is it any good? Nope. Nope. <laughs> so maybe yep. pop the E40 song in there. Nope. Uh, so yup, again, yep. this is rich chocolate. I don't know if this has got like more of a hipster appeal. Oftentimes the, uh, the cow used to have a monocle and I don't know who would wear monocles outside someone trying to be funny, but they opted for the, I don't know, the Justin Pompadour, Pompadour is how it is. The, I was gonna say the Justin Bieber haircut, but it probably isn't that. I just think any haircut that isn't mine is a Justin Bieber haircut and it looks good. It's a, it's a hipster haircut, it's got the tongue out. No monocle this time, so they've rebranded that. Um, anyway, you'd say, well, this looks remarkably similar. It's a little bit fresher of a cow look there. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to market to a different age group, but it, it actually is different ingredients in here uh, between the two, and I'll put them up on the screen. So these aren't exactly the same, even though you might expect them to be. So how's the Fairlife Yup? Nope. About what I expected. I think I prefer this the Yup to the regular 2% Fairlife. Sort of split in hairs there. It's got a nice dark brown look. There's definitely a chocolate hit to it. It does suffer from the same post-sip kind of aftertaste funkiness. Funkiness. First time I've ever put ice cream in the toilet. Uh, hopefully I'll never have to do that again. So Fairlife has also got ice cream. You know, it's chocolate ice cream. I don't know if there's other flavors or not. It's advertised as 50% less sugar, like 10 grams of protein per serving, which is more than your typical ice cream. Uh, it, it's sweetened with what? Sugar, corn syrup, allulose, and monk fruit extract. So it's got some other sweeteners in there to make up for the lack of sugar. I wasn't impressed by the look of it. It looks, you know, it had that icy kind of crust on it. It's been in the freezer, I guess, for a while, but it's still well within code. Oh man, it's actually a lot worse than I thought it would be. I thought yeah, it's gonna be passable, right? Oh no, this isn't. It's such a gummy, um, non-creamy, like it doesn't melt in your mouth. It's like, I'm trying to think of what the texture is even like. It's like some kind of slime or something like that. It's not a, a great ice cream flavor, especially the longer you go into the aftertaste. The, the texture is unbelievably gross. I don't know how to prove this to you. It's like, it's not melting and doesn't have that creamy dispersion that you get when you have a nice ice cream. It's just kind of like you have to just sort of swallow it down in spurts to get it to go down. Something is up with the emulsification of it. This isn't good stuff. If I could completely divorce the taste from the texture, I guess the taste is passable. Uh, but the texture is just horrific. This stuff's awful. Don't buy this, please, if it still exists. I assume it does. Mm. All right, time for a palate cleanser. Uh, how about this? Fairlife Cookies and Cream. Actually, we picked this up at Fair Oaks Farms in uh, Fair Oaks, Indiana, which is a, a Fairlife spot. Yup, used to have a Cookies and Cream. 
Uh, is this gonna be any different? I don't know. It's awfully kind of albino, which you expect for cookies and cream. No, man, it's, it's a weak flavor, actually. A weak cookies and cream flavor. Oftentimes you'll get it where it's overly sweet and sugar laden. This isn't that at least, uh, but it's a very subtle flavor. Almost tastes like vanilla milk to me. But I guess it, it feels okay, it's smooth. Doesn't have as much baggage maybe on the back end, just doesn't have as much flavor in general. When the flavor of Fairlife is generally not that great, maybe that's a plus. Okay, on to core power. Now you see these in pretty much every gas station's got core power. It's a Fairlife product. This is just the normal core power, 26 grams of protein. Nice dark brown color, I guess a recovery drink. Okay, that's kind of gross. This one is sweetened with monk juice extract, Ace K, and sucralose. And uh, I don't know, they all suck, I guess. This, it has a very chemical-like taste to it. Uh, it's not satisfyingly chocolate at all. It looks like it would be. I, I don't have much to say about it. It feels girthy, I'm sure. It's got all the, whatever, the, the protein powder in it and whatnot. But there's much better products than this it, with similar statistics. I'd look at the, uh, for national brand, the Shamrock Farms uh, Rock and Protein Recovery one, I think. Actually tasted pretty good. Okay, Fairlife Core Power Elite. Now what makes this elite? Uh, I guess the fact that it has 42 grams of protein in a bottle. That's an awful lot. Now we'll notice at the top of the bottle here, it's ripped off. It says great taste guarantee. Uh, I don't know if this has a great taste or not. Let's find out. No, it has a bad taste. Check, check. Look at this, the scum on the top. I mean, you know, after you shake it up and you let it settle, you're not supposed to see this when it's inside of a bottle, but when you pour it into a cup, it's just kind of gray. It's ugly. It's got like a pond scum on top of it and bubbles that have been like calcified into what looked like ice. Oh, getting some of that skin. So the, I'd say the, one of the, the most egregious thing about this, it doesn't taste good. It's not very chocolatey at all. It's got a chemical taste to it, but there's like zero salt. It's almost got like a negative salty quotient to it, which doesn't give you any kind of resolution on the, on the back end of the sip. It's, it, make this a little bit saltier, it would be slightly more palatable. This stuff's pretty bad. Yeah. Last and uh, maybe least, based on my experience, is this protein nutrition plan, high protein stuff. Now, where do you find this? Okay. Actually, at Sam's Club here in Asheville. I'm not a Sam's member. I don't even, I think I've been to a Sam's like once or twice in my life. Nothing against it, just uh, I've heard that they have this Fairlife new chocolate milk that I can't seem to find anywhere else. Let's see if they got it here. I guess you can get like a one day pass or something like that and buy stuff as long as you pay 10% more. No problem doing that if they have something new. So let's see if they got it. I guess that was successful. Success comes in a variety of forms. I don't know if paying 17 bucks for a bunch of fair life is successful, but in my world, I suppose it is. I'm gonna review it up here and uh, it's gonna be part of the fair life episode. Gotta be complete about it. For why, I don't know, just an odd obsession of mine. Uh, but maybe it tastes amazing, who knows? Oh. This is so bad. Okay, and look at the bubbles on that. Look, th tell me that looks natural to you. Oh, I can't even pop it with my finger. I'm gonna try to pop it near the microphone. You can hear it crunch. It's like solidified into a scummy glue. And I mean, I just poured this out. This stuff is well in code. It is uh, March. And this stuff is good until August, late August. So basically five months from now, and this stuff's still in code. Okay. I'd say this is even worse than the Core Power Elite. It's got like a, again, no salt whatsoever really no sweetness either. I'm sure it's good for you, sort of, but I mean, isn't the goal to make it taste somewhat palatable? Uh, this is disgusting stuff. This wasn't even near like the milk in Sam's. I looked all over the store because I knew they had it. This is over by like the 
uh, the insurer, and other things of that ilk, I guess, in the, like the, the medical pharmacy section. I guess that's where it belongs, because this is, tastes more medicinal than like anything dairy-based anyway. Absolutely zero reason to drink this. Uh, it's disgusting, it's getting the skunk. So in summary, uh, the, the, the one that I would drink if I had to would probably be the Yup. This one or the straight up regular fair life, fair life. I will have Fair Life again in the future because again, its best attribute is the fact that it's available. Uh, not that it's good, not that it's creamy, not that it tastes, you know, has a great chocolate flavor or anything like that. It certainly delivers on some of the functional health aspects of it that for people who are looking for that. Obviously, I think everything here is, is lactose free, which for, for lactose intolerant people is great. I, won't, I don't disparage that. These, you know, certainly have like higher protein, lower sugar. If you're looking at it for like a, from a recovery aspect, um, more than likely you've come across these at a convenience store and you get it more out of the fact that it's available than, you know, specifically looking for that because you love the taste. I get it. For me, it just doesn't deliver what chocolate milk, it, it doesn't have the soul of what chocolate milk is. Uh, not even close. It's all been ultra filtered out, uh, you know, ultra pasteurized and homogenized the hell out. So anyway, that's the Fair Life episode. As you can see, I, I'm not, this is like the first episode that I'm not like super full. I don't really want to drink this stuff. I've already had a lot of it anyway. It's just not very good. It's not worth the calories for me right now. So we're going to go have some dinner. Okay. <laughs>